what is the first thing that comes to your mind when i say cloud this you might be right but if you look at it from the technical point of view it might be this or this but in reality it is basically this bunch of supercomputers running in some basement you are using ui to access it and do your work most of the people don't know this everyone has to start from somewhere and if you are someone who wants to learn cloud then you are watching the right video learning the cloud might be overwhelming at the initial stage there are hundreds of services available the ui is little bit complex you don't know where to start which buttons to press what if i press the wrong button and they charge me thousand dollars but when you really start working on it things get really easy in this particular video i will explain you the basic fundamental of cloud computing and how you can learn cloud from scratch historically when people wanted to host their application on the website they had to buy a bunch of things such as ram storage processing power location to store all of these things power supply and many more on top of that you had to manage all of these things by yourself make sure the power supply was running 24 into 7 and configure all of those things manually so if you want to host your website or application you had to manually install all of those servers if you want to store the large files and if you don't have the capacity then you had to go and buy more storage but on the other hand we have cloud platforms these are the companies who build this server by themselves and you can use these services by paying amount of resources you need on top of this they also provide many different services for storage computing processing artificial intelligence and many more and we will discuss about all of those services further down the video now before we understand understand everything about cloud let me introduce our today's sponsor project pro the best way to learn cloud platform is by doing hands on project and if you want to learn cloud platform for specific niche by doing hands on project in the space of data science machine learning or data engineering then project pro can help you with that project pro is a curated library of verified sol end to end project solution in the space of data science machine learning and big data All of the projects are created by top industry expert from the top global tech companies. Here you will get end-to-end -end project solution, reusable codes, guided video, and 24 into 7 customer support. They have more than 2,000 code recipes which are absolutely free, and they have more than 200 solved projects on their website. Visit projectpro.io to know more about this. Now let's continue with our video. But the first question we want to answer is how to learn cloud computing from the scratch. Mistake people make is they directly start using the cloud platform without understanding the basic fundamentals. So what they do is they directly create account on AWS or GCP. and start using the services this is not the wrong approach but this way you will only learn about the cloud platform rather than understanding the fundamentals of cloud computing you will get attached to that particular platform and it will be really difficult for you to move from one cloud platform to some other cloud platform so what do we really need to do is we need to focus on your basic cloud computing fundamentals once your fundamentals are clear and if you know the basic things about cloud then you can learn any cloud platforms in the market within few weeks so what do we really mean by fundamentals here are the few things Be Basic building blocks of clouds are IaaS, infrastructure as a service, PaaS, platform as a service, and SaaS, software as a service. These things are called as cloud service model, and these services are provided by all of the major cloud platforms. Infrastructure as a service provides basic infrastructure to the customer. These services may include physical machine, virtual machine, networking, storage, and some combination of these. Example of these is AWS EC2. Route 53, GCP Data Proc, and many more. Second service model is we have PaaS, platform as a service. It basically means providing operating system development or database platform. So you don't have to worry about underlying infrastructure. You just have to focus on your development or database part. Example of these is Google App Engine, OpenShift, Windows, Azure. Third on the list is SaaS, software as a service. Example of these are Google apps such as Gmail, Calendar, Docs, and MS Office. These are the basic cloud service model. Some companies only focus on a specialized area, such as they only focus on software as a service or platform as a service. And some companies provide all of them together. And those companies are AWS, Amazon Web Services. GCP Google Cloud Platform Microsoft Azure and there are many other cloud platforms who also provide these another concept you should know before actually jumping into cloud is virtualization at the base level we have hardware using single hardware we can run multiple operating systems an application to provide different services on the cloud all of the major cloud platform work on these basic fundamentals we are not going to deep dive into all of these things i just wanted to give you an overview so you can do your own research and learn more about it another important thing is learning about linux all of the website and application you see are running on linux operating system so when you start working on cloud platform one of the most important thing you will have to learn is how to work with linux so first learn about the basics of linux how it works Then learn about some Linux command because when you access the cloud Linux machine, you will not see any user interface. You will have to do everything by just writing the commands. So learn basic Linux commands such as cd to change directory, ls to list files, 
mkdr to create folder cp to copy something after learning about linux and commands you also need to know one of the most important thing is networking you don't need to master networking but you just need to clear your basic fundamentals around it cloud is basically a bunch of computers talking to each other via network so having understanding of networking is really important these are the basic networking concept you should learn just watch any video or read any blog to understand these concepts now everything we talked about was fundamentals of cloud computing one more thing you should also need to learn is programming language. Cloud platform supports variety of programming language from .NET, Java, JavaScript, Python and many more. So if you know any of this language then you are good to go. But if you don't know any of the programming language then I will suggest you to start with the Python. Python is very easy to learn and syntax is also quite easy to understand. So if you are a beginner then you can easily get started with the Python. So after learning all of this comes the part where you need to choose the cloud platform. Every year Gartner does a survey and releases top cloud providers based on different criteria. These are the top 3 cloud providers available in the market. Amazon Web Services, AWS, Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud Platform GCP. If you are new to this then you can either start with AWS or Azure. AWS has been the top leader in the market and Azure is also growing. So pick one it doesn't really matter which one you choose. I personally started my career with AWS and when I decided to learn about Google Cloud Platform it was very easy for me because most of the basic fundamental services are same across all of the cloud platforms. So once you select the cloud platform that you want to learn, then it is time to learn about different services provided by these cloud providers. Now there are more than hundreds of services available on this platform. You don't really have to learn all of these services. You just have to learn about the basic services that are widely used. So what are those services? I will name few services that are common across different cloud platforms. So I will talk about AWS services, but you can easily find the alternative of these services on different cloud platforms. Number one is we have IAM, Identity Access Management. All of the authorization and authentication is taken care by these particular services. So if you want to provide some kind of access to some other user or want to create account for some different user, you can use this service to give them access to cloud platform. Second service on the list is EC2. Elastic Compute Cloud. EC2 is basically like your online computer. You can create Windows or Linux machine online. You can store your files, process any data if you want to do that. The way you use your local computer is the same way you can use EC2. Third service on the list is S3, Simple Storage Service. S3 is an object storage that means you can store any of the file you want such as audio, video, any type of file you have, you can store it on the S3 and use it for the processing. So let's consider you have the CSV file and if you want to process that file using some programming language, you can easily write the code in EC2 machine, you can access data from S3 and process that file. Number 4 on the list is Amazon RDS, Relational Database Service. All of the major databases such as MySQL, MSQL, PostgreSQL are supported by these services. All of the services I'm talking about comes under the same service model we discussed earlier such as infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. There are other important cloud services such as VPC, virtual private cloud, auto scaling, EBS, Elastic Block Storage, CloudWatch, KMS, Elastic Containers such as Docker, API Gateway, Lambda and many more. So I will list down all of the major cloud services in the description you need to focus on while learning. But the question still remains. How to learn these cloud services? A very simple way to learn these cloud services is going one by one, watching online videos, reading documentation and doing hands-on practice. You can easily create your own account on any of these cloud platform. You will not be charged anything because these cloud providers give you the free trial and free credits to learn all of these cloud services. So as long as you stay under the free trial or use your credits properly then you will not be charged. Another way you can learn about these cloud services is by preparing associate level certification. You can go to the certification website such as AWS certification website and check all of the certification provided by these cloud providers. If you are completely new then you can take the cloud practitioner certification. If you have some experience then you can take the associate level certification. All you have to do is take one course online to prepare for this certification you can go on youtube you can search online on udemy.com or any of the website that provides the preparation for this certification exam then you will have to do some hands-on practice to learn about these services in detail and at the end if you want to get certified then you can also give this particular exam all of these things that i mentioned should take around one to two months to learn and at the end of this you will have much better understanding of these cloud platforms i hope this video was helpful and you learned something new if you learned something then don't forget to hit the like button it really helps this channel to grow and reach more and more people if you are new here then don't forget to hit the subscribe button to receive more of this video in the future thank you for watching see you in the next video